All right, so welcome to level seven of uh, lesson 18 on CSS pseudo classes. This is an assessment level, so um, the way that I work is I will read the directions, I will go over the rubric with you, but I will not show you how to do this because what good of an assessment would it be if I did that? I wanna see whether or not you can do this um, and I have complete faith. So let's go look at what we've got going on here. It says adding pseudo classes. Melissa is making this web page about video game development. Can you help her add all four pseudo class states for her hyperlink? The website looks awesome. I'm very excited about this. Um, do this. Add a rule set in the CSS file for each of the pseudo class states to style the anchor element in order to achieve the following styles. Orchid color link the same size as the paragraph text. Link turns to the white smoke color when a Rebecca purple color background and a, oh sorry with a let me reread that link turns to the white smoke color with a Rebecca purple color background and larger text when the mouse hovers over it link turns red if the user clicks on it link turns black color with the orchid color background as the user clicks on it. All right, so that's the instructions. You have to do those four things in order to uh, compl successfully complete this assessment. Let's go look at the rubric. Uh, we're gonna start down here with the no evidence. So does not add any of the four pseudo class states for the anchor tag. So we're gonna close that one because we know that you're gonna do better than that. Um, limited evidence adds two of the four pseudo class states for the anchor tag with the specific styles in the directions in the CSS file. So you have to get at least two of them and they have to be correct. If you just add two and then put whatever you want, that is not going to get you the limited evidence. So it says you do have to uh, have it with the specific styles that it asked for. All right, so let's move on to convincing evidence. So adds all four pseudo class states for the anchor tag with the specific styles in the directions for each state. So you have all four pseudo codes, um, or all four pseudo classes, and each one has uh, the directions met on what you're supposed to do. One or two of the states might be in the wrong order, resulting in those styles not affecting the link. So you've got everything, you just put them in the wrong order. And okay, that works. And then your A plus 100% extensive evidence adds all four pseudo class states for the anchor tag with the specific styles in the directions for each state. And the states are added to the CSS file in the correct order. Well, we've gone over all of that. So I know that you can do this. Um, I'm going to wish you good luck and then I'll go do it while my camera's off and uh, I'll see you in the next level. All right, good luck.